Finally. Right, now I just have to find a supervisor. Well done, Kate Walker. I'm going to have a bit of a rest now. Please try to come back and say goodbye to me before you go. The wind, the heat, I can still feel it all. I dream of it every night. That's not right. Impossible. supposed to open it. I really tried. I tried to tell them I was a whole lot better. They just wouldn't listen. Kate Walker. That doesn't sound too local. Yeah. So how did you get here, Kate? Kate Walker? The Yukels brought me here. The Yukels? They're nothing but chicken thieves. A whole bunch of scumbag morons doing nothing but infesting the streets of Valsambor. Yeah. Now they've come here to do their dirty work. Uh, you mean Kirk, I suppose. For twenty years we've been in this clinic. Since we got back from Baranor. Listen, this place has always actually been a quality establishment. I don't mind admitting. So we were pretty disappointed when we heard that Madame Olga is now letting in those degenerate scumbags from up north. Come on, Anton, come on. Madame Olga knows very well what she's doing. She must have her reasons for letting those midgets in here. Can you tell me where the exit is, please? It's there. But you won't be able to leave until you've had a meeting with Dr. Mongo Ling in his office. Yeah, he's the one who knows if you're cured or not. Baranur? What's Baranur? A place. It's a goddamn hellhole. What are you talking about, Anton? That's all I have to say about it, Kate. Kate Walker. Can't stir up the past. So have you really been here for 20 years? Yeah. At first we were kept for observation with some of our buddies after that damn mission to, uh, Baranur. Leon and me, we're almost the last ones still here now. We don't know what happened to the others. Gotta say, some of them were pretty bad. Worse than us. Some guys who got it pretty bad. Fortunately, Madame Olga looks after us right. They look after us nicely here. Yeah. She looks after us good. She's a real lady, if you want my opinion. I'll be leaving you then, gentlemen. Goodbye. See you around, Kate. Kate Walker. Yeah. See you around.
Ah, you're finally awake, number ten. What can I do for you? Well, it seems to me that I'm cured. And now I'd like to be on my way. Given your condition, that would seem somewhat premature and perhaps even unreasonable, number ten. What do you mean, my condition? You're in a coma for quite some time. That's not negligible. And even if you seem better physically, there may well be serious psychological after-effects. So you're refusing to let me leave? Oh, no, of course not, miss. I have no intention of abusing any of the prerogatives of my position. Nonetheless, first you must submit to a series of tests that are designed to demonstrate that you have fully recovered. You understand. Please, sit down. I... on that? Yes, yes, don't be afraid. Don't worry about these restraints. Merely a simple formality that's part of the protocol that Dr. Olga, our supervisor, has implemented. Right. I do believe that we can begin. Now, be so kind as to state your first and last names, age, and place of birth, please. To be honest, Doctor, I don't remember. That's not what the lie detector says. Fortunately, your passport can speak for you. Kate Walker, 29 years of age, born in New York City, United States of America. You're using a lie detector? It's procedure. Please stop worrying and talk to me instead of your friends and family. Are you on good terms with them? No, I cut off with them. I haven't had any news from my mother for weeks. And Dan, my fiancé, left me for my best friend Olivia. You seem to be basking in this chaos and anarchy, Miss Walker. Is this inclination for disorder connected to this Hans Vorlberg and Oscar? You spoke about them at length while you were delirious. Oscar was a kind of automaton, very special. Very sophisticated. You know, sometimes it was as if he was almost alive. He was designed by Hans Warburg. Hans was a genius. The last of a long dynasty of precision machinery manufacturers. We went on a very long journey together. Then we landed on a small island in the sea called Siberia. Hans knew that there was still a herd of mammoths there that had survived from prehistory. Hans was obsessed by mammoths. Mammoths? Imagine that. It's a strange story, I admit, but I assure you it's the truth, Doctor. To be honest, what I'm interested in, Miss Walker, is that during your travels you were in contact with the Yuko people, the nomads who brought you here to Velzenbor. In your opinion, what should we fear from such a primitive tribe of savages who understand neither law nor border, refusing civilization and settlement? I think, Doctor, that the Yukuls live in harmony with nature, time, and space. They have no real reason to change the way they live. Now that is an example of typical American idealism. Maybe you should go back to New York right away. I'm sure your brilliant ideas will be justly appreciated there. see. In a way, your silence is quite answer enough, Miss Walker. So you intend to continue your journey through our country, a hazardous undertaking with neither goal nor destination. Pity for a brilliant New York attorney who seemed to have a gleaming future. That's not for you to decide, Doctor. <laughs> 